Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bhargavi Rawal and I am a fashion mentor. And this video, especially for a student who had asked me to do photo analysis. Now I'll tell you what is photo analysis. When you take a photograph and you try to replicate exactly the same garment, right? That is called as photo analysis. Now, A, why do we do photo analysis? To learn fashion illustration. As a designer, the last thing you do is copy a design right but as a fashion illustrator when you are a student when you are learning it is very important that you do lots and lots of photo analysis now this video i'm going to show you very simplified way of doing it. so step one is doing the pose now what i've done is understanding the pose the body is on slightly on this side the waistline is this side the hip is on this side uh, she's standing on this leg the weight is on this leg and this leg is uh, slant okay so first first step doing the pose completed second step doing the garment outline right now understanding how the garment is uh, understanding the flow of the garment try to recreate exactly the way the garment is going uh, where the twist is at the waistline uh, where the strap is at the bust line uh, the flow of the flare of the skirt everything try to keep it as uh, uh, similar as possible of course, there are going to be changed because a human figure and a fashion figure is slightly different. Uh, we create, we try to glamorize it, right? So, once second step is done, garment outline is done, then comes your garment crease line. Now, if you follow this step, believe me, you can never go wrong. Now, the problem is many times students start doing uh, without doing the pose, uh, without understanding the proportion, they try directly draw the uh, garment outline or crease line. Don't do that. Go exactly according to the step now while doing the crease line again understand the bust bust is got a uh, you know kind of a bulge so you can't have a straight line your crease line will go according to the uh, curves right so you have to create the spherical look so see how the crease lines are going in the gum uh, in the photograph and try to recreate if possible uh, count your crease lines it becomes easier of course you cannot recreate exactly the same thing uh, the reason being, oh, it's not necessary, you know, because you're a fashion illustration student. You are not a fine artist. And it is okay. Uh, illustration is way of communicating your design. So even if it's not as perfect as a fine artist, it's fine. Right? But at least your garment, your illustration has to be self-explanatory. So for that, you need to learn photo analysis. If you are at student level, please, I would advise you to do at least 40-50 uh, photo analysis once you learn this method, uh, then you will be a good illustrator. Now, over here also, if you see the flare, I've tried to create exactly the similar crease line. Now, of course, adding the detailings, uh, giving the shoes, giving the hairstyle, try to stick as close to the photograph. It will be better, right? Because all this is learning process. Uh, now, when you're doing 40, 50 different kind of illustration, you will vary it. Oh, you will do one formal wear, you'll do one casual wear, you'll do how, uh, you'll understand how a denim would fall, how a uh, jacket with a double breasted collar, you know, how will that fall? So, photo analysis is very helpful because it teaches you how to do different kind of uh, design pattern. Okay, once this is done, I, of course, you start with the rendering. Here, I have started with uh, watercolor, I'm doing the skin first giving understanding where the darker tones are understanding where the lighter tones are uh, again as i said the best way to learn illustration is through copying it so here i'm trying to not only doing the garment but also understanding the uh, body part also understanding how the shading will go uh, the way the hair is falling everything so each and everything is a learning process if you uh, you know know how to do it correctly Okay, uh, here uh, the color what I've used is uh, easiest one. I have used a Dom's pen, which is uh, like a brush pen. It becomes easier for me to give the base. And uh, then I will add the shading using a Stedler color. Okay, so this is very easy. Okay, while using Dom's pens also, your brush pens also, understand that uh, let the flow of the pen go according to the flow of the garment now i am using this stainless 
So I'm using three four color. I'm using a orange. I'm using a brown. I'm using a yellow. There are three stellar colors which I've used to create the shading. Uh, again, doing the shading according to the uh, photograph. Wherever the dark tones are, wherever the light tones are, I'm sticking to uh, those ideas only. Uh, understanding the crease lines, letting it go. Uh, the way the photograph is right so this method is very easy uh, indeed I would ask you all to you know if you want you can send me your uh, sketches I can check it I can help you uh, learn fashion illustration and uh, uh, you know I can uh, you'll know where to get in touch with me my insta handle is the one where I usually communicate with students or of course your uh, on YouTube also you all can uh, or, you know, write a comment or whatever if you have any difficulties understanding uh, so as a fashion illustration like you know when I'm teaching illustration in my class uh, usually I give homework uh, of 15 uh, photo analysis where you know every week they come up with uh, three four photo analysis uh, we start with cotton fabric then we do chiffon so they learn student will learn how to do a chiffon the flow of a chiffon fabric is of course going to be different so when they do photo analysis of a chiffon fabric they understand how it is done now when you're copying it you will realize which part is darker which part is lighter uh, how the shadow is falling uh, try to you know recreate exactly uh, you know the same crease line the way the fall is uh, so it is helpful uh, to understand now many times my students have asked me that uh, what is the requirement for a fashion illustrator now uh, as a fashion illustrator if you're working as an illustrator you need to know the technical term also now there are times my you know your client will come and say that okay i want to illustrate something which has got a halter neck or a double breasted uh, single button peplum or a flap pocket now as an illustrator you should know all these terms of course the basic terms it's easy but you know when they say peplum or they when they say corset or they uh, uh, you know or any other term so you should know those terms as a illustrator so you should have a basic knowledge of fashion very important and to recreate a design it's very easy to copy and you can illustrate it very nicely but uh, for a fashion illustrator to illustrate from the uh, thin air it's not that you have to copy you have to create you have to design so you have to do it without looking at it so that's what if you want to become a fashion illustrator then work on those ideas try to recreate designs uh, verbally and uh, putting it in the paper when you don't have a reference picture you do it directly uh, just you know mix up two three like you know give a peplum or give a uh, anarkali or give a angarkha so something like that if you could create then you become a better illustrator and for that of course photo analysis will help so I hope you enjoyed watching this video and it was helpful and uh, uh, send me your homework. If you're practicing, tell me I can help you out. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit a bell button because every time I post a video, you'll get a notification and it will be helpful for you if you are a fashion illustration student. Till then, bye bye, take care and keep practicing. Practice makes men perfect. Bye-bye.